Hi everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Theoretical Physics with Mark Weitzman. I want to start today with a very short uh, blog video just on some upcoming MOOC courses. Um, and in case you're wondering why there's all these disorganized books behind me, uh, my office is being remodeled and uh, it'll be a few days before I can move back into my office, so I just uh, set up this computer real quickly in another room. Um, so um, today I'd like to start with um, some MOOCs that are upcoming that might be of interest. As many of you know, the number of new MOOCs has gone down tremendously and the whole thing is sort of trailed off a little bit. Why this is so, I'm not exactly sure. There's even been a bankruptcy of a company called 2U, which took over edX, as far as I know. This hasn't had much effect on um, edX itself. But um, anyway, when new, uh, new MOOCs come along, I like to um, announce them right away. People have asked me, for instance, when is 8.06 going to run? And I'm happy to announce that it will be running very shortly. So um, the key in these things is to... Um, you know, check your emails. You know, I, I get emails from uh, MIT OCW. I get it from Opal, Open Learning. They have so many different organizations at MIT that, you know, I just get them from several of them. But they have a new email with some discounts available, MIT X Skills 24. And in case you want a certificate, at X Skills 24. And uh, these are some new courses which they just announced. Um, I suspect most of you have taken this introduction to computer science and programming using Python. If not, you know, go ahead and take it. It's not the greatest computer programming course, but uh, it's okay. Likewise, there are these old courses on advanced fluid mechanics and um, so on, you know, biochemistry, certain things. This is the course that I'm interested in announcing applications of quantum mechanics. This is 8.06. It's run a couple of times, I think. It is in terms of content. I think this is the uh, the number one course on the internet in terms of content. It's a, it's a close between this and mastering quantum mechanics, which is 8.05. Anyway, you can enroll now. It's a 17-week course with a workload of 12 to 16 hours per week and they sort of mean it. Um, if you want a certificate, you can get it, but you can also do most of the material, except possibly the exams. I'm not 100% sure. You can do most of the material uh, for free. Um, and basically, even though it's entitled Applications of Quantum Mechanics, it's more or less approximation methods in quantum mechanics. It does perturbation theory, variational methods, WKB methods, and, and very various things in terms of prerequisites. What does it say? Um, you should have had 8.05x. I've had students who've taken this course without taking 8.05x, and basically they struggled and ended up going through 8.05x while they were taking this course as well. So that's a lot of work, and I don't recommend it. Um, you can see, you can read this page, and I'll have links below um, on my video where you can find this page. Um, the actual, um, as I said, it's a three-course sequence, 8.04. last one that ran was 8.05, and now 8.06. It's actually titled in, at MIT, Approximation Methods. Um, so that's that. I, I highly recommend it. Um, another course, let me see the start date. What's the start date? For this? So the start date for this is in about a month, September 26th. Another course that's coming online that wasn't mentioned in this email is uh, Computational Data Science and Physics 3. And um, I think you can take, um, let me see, let me... Um, let me see, explore courses, uh, physics. 
So I think you can actually take these other courses, the Computational Data Science and Physics 1 and 2, at your own pace. But Computational Data Science and Physics 3 is new. It starts in about four or five days. And um, it covers some new material. It probably helps to have had the previous two things. It uses, um, let's see, um, so it uh, covers a lot of things on physics simulations, astrophysics and quantum mechanics. It does things like uh, try to get you into, um, in addition to finite approximations and numerical integrators, you know, things like uh, Monte Carlo and even lattice gauge and QCD. So I think this will be an interesting course and it uses um, notebooks so it uses notebooks to, uh, to try and teach it and um, it says it's self-paced on the course format so I guess you can do this at your own pace as well the uh, applications of quantum mechanics usually is not self-paced this is instructor paced so this thing you'll have to like keep pace with the instructor every week and then solutions will be released and so on um, now another course which started about a week ago is offered by Jim Freewicks at Georgetown University. It's his version of quantum mechanics. Um, it's quite different than a usual quantum mechanics course. Um, you may like that, you may not like it, and he, and he describes it. It uses sort of, it expands on the factorization method, you know, factorizing Hamiltonians and using algebraic methods and um but it's um it talks a lot about experiments and and things like that um some of it is advanced and some of it is not that advanced so it's a junior level course at georgetown university it's instructor pace it's 18 weeks um you might want to look at it if you haven't looked at it before i think actually I know the professor would disagree with me. He would say you, this should be your first quantum mechanics course. But I think this is actually easier after you've had something like mastering quantum mechanics. Um, it will be much easier and the workload will be less. But that's up to you. Um, this is the actual course. And they've done like the first week's worth of works. The first module and I think the second module has just been uh, released. So um, it's a different approach. You might like it, you might not, but um, it's there. Um, Jim will answer every question you post, so he spends an incredible amount of time on these courses. So you can discuss anything you want with him, and um, you know you'll get a lot of help, more so than probably any other course on the uh, internet. And um, so as I said, you should always check these MITx online. They don't add that much, like in the math. They don't even have some things, like you don't even see here the this um, approximation methods and, methods in quantum mechanics. It's not even listed there. I don't think. I think mostly they list just the um, courses that start any time. The um, instructor-led courses are only listed when they're actually ongoing. So um, that's one thing. And um, that's really all I have today. Um, I myself have a course on computational physics, which I have done only the first couple of videos, but which I will start up again, which covers sort of much more basic um, material using um, certain textbooks. And it covers a lot of physics, but it's advanced physics that covers with computational methods so it sort of complements this MITx course and um, hopefully I will um, while I'm doing both of these courses I'll I'll post a lot more videos but I will see you soon and have a good day bye bye